Hey, what's up guys? It's Sabertooth Nate here, and today uh, we're playing Old School RuneScape. Um, so I'm going to start a new series. So yeah, this is not really a series, it's just kind of like a... Okay, it's a series. So, um, so yeah, this is a series of money-making methods for beginners or low-level players. So pretty much when you first start out Old School RuneScape, you want money. So... The, or this series is going to teach you how to make money uh, with very little requirements and pretty much nothing. Yeah, this is my main account, but you don't need any of these stats to do what I'm about to do. You don't need to do any quest. The only thing you have to do is play for at least 24 hours on your thing so you can sell or you can trade stuff on the Grand Exchange. But that's the only downside t to making a new RuneScape account. It's pretty stupid, but we all have to deal with it when we make new accounts. So. Yeah, that's the only thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell or buy and sell wizard hats from Betty in Port Serum. If you're new to the game um, and you have no money, just try to get at least 56 GP as best as you can. Um, you're going to need at least 56 GP for this. Um, so just, yeah, get that by killing goblins or just like scavenging money off people and just get 56 GP that's all you need and you're gonna have to if you're starting at Lumbridge which uh, most new players do you're gonna start right around here there's two ways to get to Port Serum you can either go follow this path just, just keep following this path all the way till you get to here or you can go through the castle. I like this way better because it's quicker. You go through the castle and you just go straight till you get to this path. Then you go up in the drainer market, go over this gate right here, and then just go down to here. And that's so yeah, you're gonna end up here. There's like a fire pit, you can't really see it. You can see it more on this map. But uh yeah. So that's what you want to do to get there. It's very easy, it takes about two minutes to get there, not that long. So yeah, just get 56 GP, and what you're going to do is go in here, you're going to buy Blue Wizard Hat, and you're going to buy a Wizard Hat, and then you're going to either, you can either wait for it to restock, or you can hop worlds, which I'm about to do. Uh, so you just hop the worlds, trader again, buy it. It's pretty quick. Uh, you can do an inventory in about three minutes if you hop worlds if you don't hop worlds it's going to take actually quite a lot longer so i would suggest hopping worlds even if you don't have like a runescape client like os buddy pro it's it's still probably worth it to hop worlds um if you don't know what hopping worlds means it's kind of exactly what it sounds like you literally just change worlds <laughs> but yeah so i'm going to finish up this inventory and then i'll get back to you guys with the next part of the step or the the, the money making method so i'll be right back okay guys so i'm back and i started this at nine o'clock and it's literally 901 so i could have just talked through the whole video but i didn't um when you when you do this you're gonna get an odd number and i always buy an extra just an extra black wizard hat just because they're worth a little bit more and as you can see I'm, I'm, I have 2 GP left over so really all you need is 54 GP um, but if you want to be safe you can get 56 or you can bring as much as you want actually it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah so what you're going to do next is go to the GE we'll do that in a second though because I'm going to show you if you don't want to just do sell an inventory at a time you can bank your items which I would highly suggest because it'll definitely increase your money per hour but um if you're just starting out and you have no money and you want to get money to right now i would go to the ge so yeah so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you two separate banks that you can bank at i just completely passed this okay so yeah so you're going to start here where you just left off and you're going to go to either the Fowdor bank or the drainer village bank 
I would prefer the Draenor Village Bank, but if you don't prefer that, then I'll show you both ways. So to get to Falador Bank, you're going to just either go up here to this path and go all the way up here until you see this bank. It's pretty close, but I don't know why. I just don't like going that way. So you can do this way, or you can follow this path to get to Drainer and go right here. I think this way is quicker. Um, I guess I just like Drainer Village better. So yeah, you just go here and bank it right there. But just watch out. Sometimes when you're walking through here, you might get attacked by like a highwayman or a bandit or out, or whatever they're called. I don't know. You just might get attacked by them. So just watch out for that. So what we're going to do now is go to the Grand Exchange. Um, what we're going to need to do is... What I would do, if you're a new player, I would just teleport to Lombridge. Uh, you just go to your magic book and then you go over to Lombridge Home Teleport. If for some reason you already use that, then just just find your way to Lombridge. That's where I'm going to be doing this from. I don't think anyone should be have used that though. So, so yeah, I'm going to go bank real quick and then I'll be back outside here. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I'm back, and all I did was note my wizard hats, and I got my teleportation runes, or my teleport runes for uh, Varrock. If you ha if you can teleport to Varrock, I would definitely do it. It's going to save a lot of time, obviously. If you can't, and you're still low enough, I'll still, I'll still show you how to get there. So you're going to start from right here, where you home teleported from, and then you're going to walk through, or over this bridge, and just follow this path all the way up until you get to this quest looking mark thing. You're gonna take a left and follow that path all the way up into Varrock until you get to the water fountain. Now, what you're gonna do is go through this path and you can just go around the Cook's Guild, go around the Cook's Guild and then go up here. This isn't, this doesn't show the GE on this map, but the GE is right here. Like literally just right here, you know it when you see it. Most people know what the GE is, so it's not that big of a deal. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to teleport to Varrock and get this money making a going. So this method does work for free to play and um, pay to play, but I would just mainly suggest it for free to play because, oh, I forgot you can go through the bank too. So when you're as you can see, it shows me right here. The GE is right here. If I can stop moving. Okay. So instead of going around the Cooks Guild, just go through the bank. I forgot this this wall was taken out. So yeah, just go through the bank and it'll be right here. But yeah, so we're here at the GE. And what we're going to do is sell our wizard hats. I usually, it says like 613, but I always go down to like 400. And I don't know why I just do. I haven't really found out the perfect price for these ones. Pretty much all you're going to want to do, it does take a little while to sell. But if you just wait like an hour, they should sell. I mean, comparing to it only took one minute to get all of those hats. It's pretty good if you're just wanting to do like, you can probably scale while waiting for these or hats to sell. So it's really easy money. Um, it does just take a while for your hats to sell. So uh, I'm going to be doing, so yeah, I just sold one. So let's just say you just started off. I guess you can't really just start off because you have to wait 24 hours to sell anything. But if you, if you only had 56 GP, you just got 400 GP. So you can go back and get more hats without running to run out of money. So that's how that works. But uh, yeah, so this is my first video of how to make money, uh, mainly free to play beginners, because pay to play beginners can do a lot better stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is how you would make, this is how I would make my money. I'm doing my, uh, I'm doing my, what's it? I wrote a 10 mil series right now and I just did this for a while. I haven't uploaded that video yet, but I did do this method and I made almost 150k in about an hour 
I haven't sold any of it yet, but I do have everything. See, I already sold another hat, so it, it goes it goes by pretty fast, but not too fast. I'm not sure how much these go for, so I'm just gonna slow, put these down even more. Let's just do 400 again. There, I'm probably not gonna sell. All right, so I've already sold three hats, and you're already at 1k. I mean. I know to everyone that's not a lot of money right now, but it's really to new players it's pretty good. And if you if you do it, if you just keep banking your hats, it'll eventually add up, and you wake up the next morning and they'll all be sold, and you'll have a lot of money in your bank. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. So I will see you guys next time. I'm probably going to upload my next Road to 10 Mill series next, um, or my next episode next week. Um, other than that, just thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, actually, real quick. As soon as I ended the video, literally all of my hats sold. Um, all, the, all the Black Wizard hats sold at one time, and then I think I had to sell like three more one at a time but i did make eleven thousand or 11k in that one one and a half minutes of collecting wizard hats um so if you if you can collect all the wizard hats get an inventory in one minute and then take about let's say a minute a minute and a half at the moat not even a minute really to get to the bank and back that's 11k per two and a half minutes so that's if you world hop so i'm just going to do 60 divided by 2.5 well that's not what i wanted 60 divided by 2.5 that's 24 times 11k that's 260k per hour um now like i said if this video gets popular and everyone starts doing this method it's obviously not going to work as much but yeah, it's it's still pretty good. So yeah, thanks guys for watching in, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys later.